Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about ISS or International Space Station. This movie is directed by Gabriella Calperthwaite, starring Ariana DeBose and Chris Messina, along with four other astronauts in this film. And honestly, I was pretty excited to watch this movie because I loved the concept from the trailer. And, you know, I was excited for maybe a decent January movie. Unfortunately, I do think this movie falls short of its potential, although I do think that there's some good tension within this movie. And this will, of course, be a spoiler review for this movie. So if you had some interest in watching this movie based off of that trailer, and you don't want to know the details going to this movie, go check it out and then come back and watch this review. So what is this movie about? Well, essentially it follows six astronauts on the International Space Station, three of which are from the United States, the other three are from Russia, and when war breaks out between these two countries and they see the explosions happening back down on Earth below them, they are each told by their governments to take over the International Space Station at any cost necessary, and now you get a political thriller set in space between these th these six characters in an isolated area, and I do think that the tension that you get between that concept alone is palpable enough to make this movie entertaining because I do think that tension is there. I think where this movie falls short is it plays it way too safe on the political side of things. I think I'd best describe the tension of this movie as, you know, leave the world behind on Netflix that was just released. I do think that that movie did a great job at isolating these characters. You don't know at all what in the world is happening around them in this post-apocalyptic situation that they find themselves in, and there's a lot of distrust between these characters and a lot of tension that you get because these people don't trust each other for whatever reasons and that movie does eventually get into why there is that distrust what is happening in that outside world and the political side of those things and I do think that is a risk to do those sort of things because I do think that it actually hurts that movie in a lot of ways I do think that it deflated a lot of that tension but I think when you have a movie like this with International Space Station where we do know the political I guess tension between Russia and the United States and you can have a story where you're diving into these characters and their beliefs and to see how they react and what their decisions are based off of those beliefs and how that's either a good thing or detrimental to their situation. And you can have a movie that actually says a lot between these tensions. And like I said, spoilers, especially with the way that this movie ends with, you know, Alexei being one of the Russians and Arya DeBose's Kira being one of the Americans kind of teaming up and being like, all this stuff that's happening, all this tension, if we just, you know, work together and there's we break down this communication barrier and we break down these tensions and we trust each other, we can get out of this situation. I do think that it ends off with a good message to explore by the end of it. And I do think that could have worked if you did explore those actual political tensions. But as it lies, this movie really is just an isolated thriller where you have three characters told to take over, the other three characters told to take over, and you never really get to dive into why this is happening or who these characters really are, which I do think is the biggest bummer about this movie. I do think the cast in this movie does the best that they can with what they're given. Honestly, I didn't really know really much about any of the characters in this movie. The closest I came was with Chris Messina's character and Ariana DeBose's character as Gordon and Kira. And there's one conversation, probably my favorite scene in the entire film is when Gordon is told to go outside of the space station to fix this satellite because the Russians said that it's, you know, one of the reasons why it's causing uh, some communication back down to Earth and to figure out what in the world is happening. And there's a distrust in the situation, like maybe they're lying about the satellite not working. Should we trust them at all? Should you go out there into space? alone without knowing whether or not these characters are trying to kill us at any given point in time and so I think there there is inherent tension in this moment but I think what makes Gordon's character the most interesting at least for me in this movie up until the ending of the film is the fact that he's in a relationship with one of the Russian astronauts Veronica and he says oh if I love this character I trust her because I do love her and there's a reason for him to have that trust and for that trust to be breached and for the other characters to sabotage this mission it is kind of a heartbreaking thing. And when it comes to Kira's character, she had been cheated on by an ex in her past, and so she inherently has a distrust in these sort of situations, and she's happy that they are in a relationship, but she's also like, yeah, it didn't work out for me. It bit me in the back, and it caused a lot of problems in my life, and you can see how she can be mixed up in this trusting situation between these other characters when they're put in this situation to begin with. And so that's really all you get from the characters in this movie. There's the other American who has, like, like two daughters back on earth that he's extremely worried about their well-being you know when he sees the bombs going off back in america and 
you know, he's worried about that and he kind of goes insane trying to get home at any cost necessary. And that's really all you find out about that character. In terms of the other two Russians, I think it's Alexei and Nikolai. These two characters, I found Alexei to be extremely interesting. I'll get into him in a minute here. But Nikolai is just the, the villain of the movie. He doesn't really have a lot much to do besides, oh, he's going to follow these orders that he's going to get from his government because he was told to follow these orders. You don't really get to find out anything else about him. Alexei is a character that I found very interesting because there was a conversation between him and Kira at the beginning of the movie when, you know, they're setting up their, you know, their experiments together because they're going to be kind of rooming in sort of the same lab. They're going to be sharing this space together and Kira doesn't really know any Russian and, you know, Alexei doesn't really know too much English. And so there's a lack of communication, like a communication barrier between these two characters where there's an inherent uneasiness between these characters because you know it is a movie you're gonna stage it in that sort of way but he instantly seems to be the character that you think is going to be the wild card that's going to cause a lot of problems but when you have the situation where he is told to i guess cut the communication between kira and and gordon when they're talking outside of the spaceship he is extremely nervous about doing that i thought that added some depth to his character because he is extremely guilty for what he's doing he kind of flips back and forth a few times in this movie but he at least had some depth with the decisions that he made in this movie there were a couple moments in this movie that i found frustrating especially when it comes to some of the character decisions i think veronica was an interesting character i guess not really interesting she was the love interest of chris messina's character and when he gets wiped out in space she is absolutely you know not going to trust the russians anymore she's going to try to get together with kira and try to figure out a plan to get out of here and we get to find out a reason at least as to why each country wants to take over the international space station because it's so far out of the way but one of the research that they're doing on the space station is to find some sort of cure for i guess nuclear radiation exposure of some sort and so with nuclear war happening down on earth whoever has this cure essentially is going to be able to choose who to save and who to let die and so this is a very important piece to be able to you know capture they really want that for their sides and you don't really know if this is true or not but that's what veronica is saying at this point in the movie and she devises this plan to cause a distraction and to trade keys so you know kira can go over and get the cure and take the escape pod and get out of there and to do whatever she's going to do with that once she gets back down to earth and tr to try to stop the things that are happening up here but then she tries to go do a distraction and she tries to threaten to blow up the entire space station of course that's not going to go well she of course gets killed in this situation because the other American is completely untrustworthy of this situation and her threatening to blow up the entire ship is not necessarily a distraction that's going to cause good things to happen because you're going to have characters try to stop her by any means necessary and so she is killed which causes even more of a rift between the Americans and the Russian characters in this movie because you know they lived with each other for a long time and even though they're untrustworthy of the of each other they do care about each other in in at least a decent amount of way to where it's going to cause a rift one one literally murders another person on the space station so again some of these story beats caused some frustration for me because again if they just if they just sat down and talked to each other none of this would happen and i think that's where the frustration kind of comes from in this movie because if you don't get into the actual political nature of why these characters are doing what they're doing it just feels entirely silly and pointless the movie doesn't give enough reason for these characters to not just sit down and talk to each other because if they did kind of get into the political nature of this i think you could have given more reason for them to do this but the entire time i just thought just just stop just talk to each other just try to have a conversation but there wasn't anything in this movie to keep them from doing that besides what the script was telling these characters to do and so in that way i did find this movie to be extremely frustrating and i just wanted it to be a little more risky with what it was trying to say i wanted to actually have a purpose and a point because by the end of the movie when the characters just decide, oh, we're going to trust each other because that's what we're going to have to do between alexi and kira's character I just didn't really care. It felt pointless by the end of it because it's like all this and for what? I also was pretty bummed that Chris Messina was kind of knocked out of the movie at the beginning of this film because again, he was one of the more interesting characters in this story along with Veronica who was also killed immediately after that. But when Chris Messina comes back into the fold and starts fighting Nikolai at the end of this film, again, there is the tension that's inherently built in a situation where you're having a fight scene in zero gravity in space. I do think that that had some tension to it and the way that it was shot was decent enough. But 
I think that turn in Chris Messina's character was just so abrupt because we hadn't seen him in so very long. When he finally shows back up, I'm happy to see him again because I like Chris Messina. But then he's just absolutely insane, goes after this guy, they kill each other, and that was it. It didn't really have a purpose for him to come back either. And so even with the characters that I did end up enjoying in this film, when they died, I honestly, I just really didn't care. I think that's my problems with this movie. I do think that it played a little bit too safe with the political side of this political thriller, and it also... Just I didn't really learn anything about these characters because it was playing it too safe and not wanting to get into the reasons of why these characters have this mistrust to begin with besides the surface level stuff. And so overall, I think this movie has some tension in it, but it felt pretty hollow with its execution. But that's going to be it for my review for ISS. What did you guys think about it? I'm actually curious to see if you guys did check it out. I don't think there's too much to explore with this movie, again, because it did play it a little bit too safe for me. So I'm curious what your thoughts were. Did you enjoy this movie? Did you enjoy that tension? Or were you also kind of disappointed with the lack of I guess, oomph that this movie kind of needed to stand out amongst the rest of these space thrillers that we get every once in a while. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to see more reviews just like this one. I just did a review of The Bean Girls, or Beekeeper and Mean Girls 2024 in a dual review for my last video, so go check that one out as well. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Like I said, comment down below your thoughts on ISS, and I hope to see you all in my next one.